you couldn't ask for much better of a break the only sticking point is getting out to the left hand side of the table for the blue two as he played with top spin on the left hand side and try and spin it round in between the three and the four looks about all he can do is to try and force the white ball back into the middle of the table this is missable because of the pace he's got to play it at one thing about folders in this match though Steve that I've noticed and certainly have to tip your hat as he's kept the game simple he doesn't try and do too much I think that's the secret of success in in any sport is to play within yourself he seems to have certainly handled the pressure very well here on the main table in an arena where Alex Pagulayan has been very dominant He's going to have to try and negotiate a path without contacting any, any of these colors. Back around for the three, top right. <clears throat> Shouldn't be a problem, getting around the back of the eight. to have done all the hard work here born in the Philippines honed his skills traveling around North America spent a lot of time on the road with Corey Duell How lucky would you have felt running into that young pair? They drop by the local club for a couple quick games and you feel like they may have just received their cues as Christmas presents. Meanwhile, they could pick the eyes out of a rattlesnake at 100 feet. Seven, eight, and nine at Peggy Lyon's mercy. <coughs> There's a possibility that Pagalion could face Corey Jewell in the final. They're in separate halves of the draw. I don't know what price you get on that, Jim, but... Well, that would pit two 27-year-olds. The future of the game on center stage. But right now, Alex's focus is to try and stay on course for that final. 6-5. He pulls one back here against Poldes. It'll be Peggy Lyon to break in rack 12. Boldez had the first look in. It was the missed one there that opened the door for Peggy Lyon. He's no stranger to big time pressure on the pool table is Peggy Lyon been called on time and time again to produce the goods and one of his most memorable matches up against Fong Peng Chow last year's quarter finalist and what a match that was went right down to the wire Peggy Lyon produced some superlative shot making to forge a path through and eventually hoist the trophy But for me, Steve, that was easily the match of last year's event. Rack 12, Alex Pagalion to break. Train for the unfortunate six. from the Moscone Cup perspective that Alex is representing Canada. Um, in, in many ways, he would have been a great addition to the American team and a great character for the Ernie Earls of the pool world. Cue balls kicked. 
And it doesn't look like it's going to land good on the one. He parked it in the middle. But unfortunately for Alex, not to be left there. Two ball careening off the angles and taking it out of position. You can never legislate for a good break. You can only try nail that cue ball in the middle. Hope they sit nice, but when balls come around off the angles and kick that cue ball out of position, it's completely out of your control. And that's part of that luck factor, Steve. And you've got to deal with it. You allude to it so often. You've got to be mentally tough in this game. Too true, Jim. Now, how would you play this one, Steve? Well, it's a risky bank. What else does he do? Can he play the push out? Sometimes, even if you can see the ball, the push out's not a bad option. The double kiss? That doesn't look good. Probably as bad as he could have done. Glaring mistake from Pagulayan here. Total misjudgment. Trailing 6-5 to turn the table over to full dance here. One good shot from the one to the two. Mission accomplished. Vilmos Foldes on course to go 7-5 in front of the reigning world champion. It's a lead. It's certainly advantage Foldes should he convert this rack. It's not a commanding lead. It never is at nine ball pull. Steve, at what point does Foldes start to feel the pressure in this one? In this rack, possibly not. In the match, if Folders was to get to eight racks, perhaps the pressure would start to build, trying to clear up to know that he would then be on the hill and breaking, so the, to win the eighth rack would be a, a bit more pressure. Um, I'm not too sure that that will come into play. It's just whether Pagalion can try to start to stamp his authority more on this match, and he's running out of time, obviously. I think the next rack should Folders make this and he's made a bit of a botch of it yeah, it's just the wrong side of the six he can play sort of, sort of a done it into the middle pocket with a bit of insurance behind the round seven yes I think play the seven into the long corner pocket that's exactly what he's well has he missed this well 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 but he's covered it would you believe it yeah, but he's covered it, but Pagalan can come off the side cushion and flick this six in. The only thing he's got to be careful of is scratching in the top.